Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we want to do uh, another showcase, but this time looking at the heretical side of the Death and Duty mod. Um, I've got a bunch of questions um, from the from, from the other video I want to go over, um, I'll explain a bit more detail, everything like that. Firstly, can I just say, because one of the main things was, was that, oh, this doesn't look right, that doesn't sound right, and stuff like that. Everything you see here is a work in progress. Everything, the sounds, the animations, the skins, everything is a work in progress. A lot of people are asking me, what type of game is this for? This is for the game called Squad. It is a mod for Squad. The reason why it's not out for testing at the moment, it's all down to the SDK. There's a problem with the SDK for Squad and they are fixing it. Once that fix is in place, then we can launch our server, get it going, show it all off. It'll be absolutely amazing. Get all you chaps in, you can test it all and everything like that. But if you want to play the mod, you have to download the base game called squad now a massive shout out to the team once again for getting to this stage everyone has been working their butts off lock um, um dog hands and stuff there's um, um something i'm going to speak about in a, in a minute that hands has been doing he's been doing sewer stuff but well, I'll, I'll put some screenshots of that up later in the video i can't really show that off yet but firstly i just want to show off some of the new skins that we have for chaos as you can see here um these chaps are the traitor guard blood packs and stuff like that um, they all have like um, a lot of things that differ from the Cadians. We wanted to do like the fully like corrupt things. So like spikes, chains, like even the skin. Like if I look at the skin on my guy, you can see, I know his wrist looks like it's snapped there. Chaos, of course. Like his, his fingers and if we actually go here, you can see like all the fingernails and the skin and stuff is starting to rot because they've given themselves over to the dark gods if we actually just look at some of like the armor and stuff like the helmets spikes on them or like scrap metal put in for the shoulder pads if we look at like the back of him chains on it and stuff like that this guy has gone like the full skull helmet looks like an absolute badass uh, over here um again just like you know different options and stuff like for the skull helmets and everything like that and um, if you didn't watch the first video i'll link the first video in the top right of this corner and as i mentioned when you spawn in this game um, it will just randomly spawn you with a skin. So everyone is different. We don't want everyone to like look the same in the game. So hopefully, like when you are moving with your squad, engaging, everyone will have their own little personality um, when it comes to their player medal, so you can identify your friends and stuff like that on the battlefield. These guys are equipped with the Loyalist guns at the moment. I know, sorry about that. Um, but if you come over here, we can actually show you some of um, the new weapons. So this is the last pistol for Chaos. Um, if I just fire it real quickly over there um the binoculars for chaos um nothing really funky about them but it looks amazing and we have heretical shovel or entrenching tool if you want it's got the little chaos star on there so if you want to bash uh the you know your loyalist friend's head in you can do if you can see like the actual aquila has been like all erased out because these guys embrace chaos they don't want any aquilas on their weapons and um, if we go to like the grenade launchers and stuff so if i just grab this this is the grenade launcher again you'll probably see some scratches on it and stuff like that because where all the stuff has been um uh uh, ripped apart and um, so if i fire this there's a, a a smoke grenade launcher of course this comes with the actual grenade launcher as well so if we fire the grenade launcher boom that does that and um, we've got all the uh, the sniper rifles and stuff and scopes again everything's a work in progress gents um, at the moment in time sounds everything like that and um, bullet drop we're still speaking about bullet drop and everything that goes along with that i am a very Bad shot, yes, that is confirmed. Valrak is a bad shot. Um, the carbines and stuff, these can like go into single shot or automatic. Automatic, I'll do this now. Um, and single shot is just, of course. Um, when it comes to the bayonet, I don't think we've got the bayonet fixed yet. As you can see here, look, he's holding it wrong. Again, work in progress. But if we go to the bayonet and... Oh, there we go. Actually, I think it's working properly now. There we go. So, you can actually bayonet your your friends down I, I i would definitely suggest bayonetting as much chaos as you can um in the name of the emperor that is the only way to redeem um yourself i don't think um the damage is in there with the grenade launch yet so there's no really point in putting that in but uh, the normal lands good and stuff if you can see and stuff like that you can see like it's 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 all got a different skin on it and um, everything like that um and you can see like the power of it and stuff like that. Sorry, I've just killed all the guys um, now, so we can't really 
do any ball um, with them. Now, some of the questions um, I've been getting is that, um, of course, when is the release of this mod? I've kind of answered that already. It's when the SDK comes up. When the SDK happens, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be purchasing a test server. On that test server then, um, we're going to have the maximum number of players, which is 80 players, but that should be going up to 100 players, I've heard. Um, so that's 50 versus 50. We're going to go on there, test it all, test all the guns. Um, hopefully then you guys can come back to our Discord. Discord, by the way, is linked in under the video. Um, you can give it your feedback and stuff, and we can go on and we can build the mod from there. I see a lot of people saying, ah, what about you know this faction, that faction, um, you know Space Marines, you know different Guard Regiments. Um, I mentioned in the previous video, that is the plan. That is something that we definitely want to do but at this moment in time we're just starting small we've only got a small team and we don't want to like over uh, overuse ourselves and stuff like that we don't like be promising the world when we can only do a little bit so we're going to start small just the traitor guard and um, normal guard and then we'll just build on that maybe like you know big patches and stuff where, where like it could be tau space marines and um, anything like that but as i said it was just a small team at the moment this is not funded at all this is just us as fans that's what it's it, it's it's a mod by fans for the fans that's all it is you know there's, there's there's no financial in this at all we can't accept financial i don't think we would anyway because gw would come in and start you know ban hammering it if, if 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 that was the actual um case so um I, I don't see that being the option at all 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 we need at the moment is just your support just to spread the word and get more people jumping on um and actually playing the game Anyway, what you're seeing in the background now is another thing about the actual map itself. Um, the map, which I've shown off in previous videos, is um, going to be like a, a Rune City type of map. Where it's, you know, rubble, explosions, it's, it's basically you're fighting over that map. And what we're going to be doing through time is expanding that map you know bringing it bringing it out make, make, making it bigger better and stuff until it you know encompasses like a full-size map of the actual squad hands at the moment one of the level designers well the only level designer that we have at the moment and um, he's built all this Every, everything you see when it comes to the map it's all down to his awesome skills and he's currently building like a sewer system and some of the screenshots i'm going to be showing off in the background now um are actually that system we want like that kind of close engagement type of area as well where you know if it is a bit open in there and you know people are getting gunned down the street you can go down and you can go down the sewer systems it's really dark it's you know it's it's, it's that kind of atmosphere where anything can be around the corner uh, you know throwing smoke grenades down there all the laser shots and stuff we just want that different type of environment to like you know give to people and i, and I personally think it will be something absolutely bloody amazing anyway um i'm gonna call the video there i just want to say thank you for coming thank you for watching and um, leave your thoughts feedback everything like that down below in the comments section again everything you're seeing is a work in progress a massive shout out to the team once more for all their amazing hard work hopefully you'll join me and just saying to them you know thank you for everything you've done because without these guys and um, we won't be getting any of this um if you've got any questions again post them below and i'll do my best to try and answer them if not come over to our squad discord um, it is in the description. Sorry, it's linked in the description of this video. It's the Death and Duty mod um, Discord. And, you know, post over there and come and meet the rest of the community who are already waiting for this mod. Right, that's enough rambling for me. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. See you now. Have a great day and bye bye.